Welcome back to Kababayan Today. We're very happy to take all your calls about immigration advice from Aquino and Lowe. Before we get started, once again, let's talk about this new program that allows certain H-4 beneficiaries. What is an H-4, attorney? So an H-4 is a spouse or an unmarried child under the age of 21 of an H-1B non-immigrant. So H-1B is the most common work visa, mm -hmm. and so they're allowed to bring in their spouse and, their, and certain children, which are classified as H-4. And just last week, as part of the President's executive action announced last November, they rolled out yet another program for the H-4 spouse. So it doesn't apply to the kids, it only applies to the spouse, but under this new program that starts on May 26th of this year, certain H-4 spouses will be eligible to obtain employment authorization documents or work permits. This is wonderful it's news. It's fantastic because oftentimes you're here as a spouse, you can't get work. You, you can't, can't do anything. contribute to your family. You mm -hmm. can't, um, oftentimes they have educations themselves or work experience that they can use. And so under this program, only certain, only certain H-4 spouses will be eligible. It's essentially those whose H-1B spouse has moved forward with the green card process under a labor certification. So the main emphasis is you need to have your spouse move forward with that green card process in order for you to be eligible. Um, you essentially have to be, uh, have filed that labor certification within a certain period of time or after a certain period of time and or be a beneficiary, beneficiary of an I-140 immigrant petition. But this is a fantastic program. Individuals who are H-4 spouses mm -hmm. need to encourage their spouse to move forward so that you can get your work permit as well. Wonderful. Okay, we have Karen who's asking a question. Uh, what is the age requirement for DACA? Her children are 10 and 14. Do they qualify? Well, as we were saying before, um, the DACA program as it's going to be implemented in uh, for November of 2014 is on hold. However, if they qualify for the previous DACA program, which started in 2012, that age requirement is 15 unless that child is in removal proceedings, has a removal order, is, or is somehow in ICE custody. Okay. All right. We have a caller. See, John is on the line. Hello, John. Hi. Uh, good afternoon. Po. Uh, my question is, uh, I've been here in America for eight years, and... I don't know if I'm qualified for that uh, you, our President Obama said, and I'm an H-2B visa. Is there any way that uh, I can uh, change my status or can be able to work uh, legally? Well, with, in that regard, as far as the President's executive action is concerned, presuming that the law case gets resolved and the program really is implemented, the basic requirement is that you must have been in the U.S. continuously since January 1, 2010. And so it does sound like you fulfill that requirement. However, the additional requirement is that you must be the parent of either a U.S. citizen or a lawful permanent resident as of November 20, 2014. So unless he has that qualifying relative, unfortunately, he would not be able to avail of that program. Um, as far as moving forward with any other types of applications for a green card, each individual's case is unique and particular to them, so perhaps he might want to seek legal uh, a consultation with an attorney in order to see if there might be something eligible. Um, he mentioned that he entered as an H-2B, mm -hmm. and so that presumes that he has work or is somehow in a situation where maybe he could be sponsored based on that employment. That's right, and what you just mentioned earlier, his his spouse may be sponsored. Well, actually, that's the H-1B. Oh, right, yeah. okay. So that's unfortunately, right. that, that doesn't extend to the H-2B, okay. but maybe he can go ahead and seek um, a green card based on that sponsorship or maybe some other type of employment-based sponsorship. All right, we have Mel on the phone. Si Mel, nandito po. Ano pong tanong ninyo? Oh, um, I'm a permanent resident. Um, I have three kids and still in the Philippines. Um, they're 16, 15, and 9. Um, I'd like to ask, uh, which is more faster? Should I wait for my citizenship or should I um, file now for, okay. for them? Okay, so she has her green card. She has children in the Philippines. This is always the case. Mga kababayan natin na nandito, their families get left behind. Should they proceed with their citizenship? Uh, this is a question we get a lot, and I, I will tell you the answer right now is yes. You should proceed with your citizenship because it really will not have an effect 
on whether your children come earlier or later because you can always choose to stay in the F2B category even if you become a U.S. citizen they can stay in the F2B category but right now the F1 category is almost a year faster than the F2B category so becoming a U.S. citizen gives your children a little bit quicker time as of now to come into the United States. Um, and actually, just to clarify, um, I wasn't clear whether she has actually filed any petitions for her kids mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. And so whether you move forward with your citizenship or not, you need to file those petitions right now as a green card holder because there is absolutely no advantage to waiting until you become a U.S. citizen to move forward with that green card sponsorship. Um, and secondarily, I don't know how she got her green card to begin with, but there are categories where children who are under 21 can be following to join or be a part of that original green card sponsorship. So I don't know if she had explored that possibility when she herself got that green card to see if her children were some, could have somehow been included as part of that petition. And that would be a lot faster than filing her own petition for them. All right, we have Rogelio on the phone. Rogelio, ano pong tanong ninyo para sa atin dito sa Talk Tuesdays on Kababayan today? Hello, magandang hapon no. Magandang hapon no. Ang tanong ko lang po, ako po ay U.S. citizen. Okay. Ngayon, ipinitisyon ko yung anak ko, 2004. Kaso, nag-asawa last year. Ito ba may pag-asang makarating dito o matatagal lang pa? Okay, so the question is, uh, they are a U.S. citizen. They petitioned for their child. Their child got married. Is this still a possibility? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. A U.S. citizen can petition for both their unmarried and married children. The unfortunate part is that the married category is much further backed up than the unmarried category, so it's just going to take a lot longer. All right, so mas matagal po ang paghihintay. Maraming salamat po. Once again, give us a call here on Kababayan Today, 1-800-553-5724. We'll be back with more questions live here on Kababayan Today.